Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Good Times for All or Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. Uh, I'm just going to show you something that I've been, uh, that I guess I learned while experimenting. Um, a single light source, like this flashlight, that just has one light coming out of it. You cannot make a 3D object with just a single light source. Um... You can project it so you see perfectly, see the inside of there, there's this glass piece around here, and it's, it's one of those LEDs, it lightens up real bright. And then of course you know how the laser works, it has the many, many sources of light that come out of it. Well that's how we get the sphere. It's with the many different sources of light hitting the different part of the lens. That's what makes it curl. Now, um, here, let me get this set up here. Okay, cool. Now, when we have our flashlight, as you can see, when I put the lens in front of it, I can get it to focus in and you can see exactly what the flashlight looks like. Oh. Yeah, it's right around there somewhere. It's just a little tricky because I'm trying to line up the flashlight, the lens, and where you can see also. But as you can see it kind of shows you what the object what the one light source is. Now I was messing around with trying to create a uh, the different phases of the moon. And when I was doing it with this, oh there we go, that's much better. Let me point that down a little bit. Okay. And um, I noticed that when you cover this one, like already right now, I am halfway covered. You can see it's getting a little bit dimmer when I do that. Right there, it's already halfway covered. But with just the one light source, the way this lens works, it can take just a little bit of the light, like I like a pinhole. That's what gave me the idea. A pinhole of the light. And it has to be almost all the way covered. That's about three quarters of the way and it's just about gone. Can't really see it anymore. So, um, it doesn't work like that trying to create the moon phases. So I pulled out the laser though, and now watch this, this is pretty neat folks. We make our sphere, whoops, what's going on here? There we go, so we make our sphere, where you can see, and then we put the pay, oops. This thing's going to be a pain in my butt. Okay, there we go. So we have our sphere. And we take the paper. And you get your moon phases. Sorry, I'm trying to... All the way, moon phases figured out. So there you go, folks. The crescents on the moon, the crescents on Venus. It's all very possible. And that was with just a piece of paper covering it up in the right way. So that's it. I just want to share with you. Um, it takes multiple light sources, like the broken laser, to create the sphere that can rotate and also to create the crescent it has to be like this and the crescent is as easy as just so there you go folks crescented moon crescented venus all right 
that's it. Good times for all. Signing out. As always, thanks for watching.